So MRD101 today block 3, block 3, rural development agrarian issues. Rural development agrarian issues. This is, uh, that is MRD101, rural development Indian context, block number 3, rural development agrarian issues that we are going to talk and uh, in this there are uh, three three units you know okay three there are four units so first unit is agrarian movements now <clears throat> you see that is you know land uh, those who are having the the land, uh, you know, cultivation or whatever is there, that is agrarian movement. Now, you are knowing that in India, that, you know, more than 60% people are living in villages and uh, their, you know, employment, uh, everything, you know, they are uh, rural employment they are getting because or by way of uh, doing the cultivation, etc. Throughout the country, it is there already. Lot of movement also, that is for their... Uh, uh, welfare also, uh, you know, so many movement has uh, taken place in the past also. Some of them we were, we will be discussing today. The so, agrarian movement in an integral part of an agrarian system, that is, you know, uh, land and yeah, okay, farming, land and farming. See those, some people are having land. Some people are landless. Some people are taking the land on rental basis and they are doing agricultural, this thing. And part of that, we are, there is an agreement between uh, who are landowner and the farmer. So certain portion, he will, he or she will hand over to landlord over this. And there are so many other uh, methods. And on rental basis also we are taking. Uh, that is, you know, I will do the, because if landless people, if they don't have land to cultivate, they will take, uh, uh, you know, hire some land from the landlords and they will do cultivation, agricultural production, whatever is there. And uh, there will be an agreement that how much, uh, you know, you will have to pay to the owner of that land, actually. Okay. Now, so considering the size of the country, the diversity of uh, long history of India, agrarian struggles, you know, they are having a lot of struggles actually, you see. Sometimes nowadays more. Climatic condition, they are having a lot of problems. Sometimes rain will be there, sometimes drought will be there. They have to face the climatic changes also. It is directly affecting their agricultural production and their earning capacity also diminishing. Government has, of course, government is section in full support, state government as well as central government, but that is not sufficient, okay, because of the poverty which uh, these people are having. So here, considering the size of the country, the diversity of the long history of agrarian struggle, and, uh, you know, this uh, inadequate documentation, sometimes, you know, land is not available, land will be available to somebody else. Not only that, your land... Though you are having the land, sometimes, you know, for taking the loan, etc., you will mortgage that land to the landowner or some, you know, person. And you will take the money. And if you are unable to pay the money, the land belongs to that gentleman. You will have to struggle then in your uh, future life as well. Because that is the real problem, actually. Uh, poverty is there and it is very difficult to survive also. And uh, because, you know, instead of taking two uh, times the cultivation or whatever is nowadays because of the climate change, sometimes only one, uh, you know, crop they are taking, actually. Now, Indian context agrarian system, agrarian uh, system, and, uh, you know, the classes also. So, here, the dictionary meaning of the word agrarian, uh, you know, stated briefly with the agrarian system the dictionary meaning of the word agrarian that is 
stated briefly pertaining to cultivated or agricultural land okay in tenor sometimes you know we are taking the land for doing cultivation for six months one one year or something like that also so if you are not having so the term agrarian refers to okay the movement for the division of land and changes which would improve the economic condition of the farmer somehow they have to live in this world you know so they have to take the land from this uh, uh, the land is required for the cultivation you know so some maybe some people are having a lot of cult- uh, land actually they you know due to either hereditary you know uh, tradition of this thing a lot of land some people belong Equ- that was, that's why i'm just telling you know equality is not there some people are having more land some people are land less so that's why you know a lot of reforms have taken place in various states if uh, somebody is having more land how to distribute uh, among others that is so it is a question a question mark actually so now here so the sometimes what happen violence is also taking place between landlord as well as the far uh, the land owners uh, or uh, they are fighting with uh, other people low income people and uh, due to, uh, because of their uh, you know muscle power they are taking the land of the poor people also so it is also avail uh, the thing you know they are and some people what happen they are being treated as a bonded labor actually wife husband everybody there to do the job of the big uh, land owner if they are not coming then uh, of course they will be isolated and uh, you know a lot of problems they may face still it is the though uh, more than 75 years have already passed after getting independent a lot of uh, still some problems are prevailing not only the state government as well as central government government though they have uh, you know declared many many schemes for the welfare of farmers only thing whether it is reaching to the needy people that is the question mark actually now recently you know sometime back eh, so many you know suicide eh, cases something you know many thing happened in many various parts of you know farmer suicide in various parts of the country especially in maharashtra andhra pradesh and some other part of the country also so many people you know because you know either due to drought the paddy everything will be spoiled or heavy rain flood and other thing again loss will be there and uh, so uh people started you know, committing suicide that, that because there is no because they cannot repay the loan and uh, many their house is mortgaged agricultural land is mortgaged they are unable to survive and uh, not only if they take loan from the cooperative credit uh, you know other society or bank they to repay for that uh, unless they uh, you know get uh, some income from other way you know, how they will repay back to the respective bank so recently uh, you know the prime minister of india sometimes you know even modi ji also when he took over as the prime minister of india and he also announced up after seeing this uh, some 6000 rupees or something like that directly direct benefit transfer to the farmers okay they are you know to the respective bank account not through any agent or somebody directly it is going to farmers three times i think 2000 each something like that uh, it is going directly so here advantage is uh, that you know that there is no intermediary or something like that no agent nothing directly it is going to your saving bank or the farmer saving bank account many many people have already got uh, such amount on yearly basis and uh, so something is better than nothing some some benefit then in addition to that government has also got uh, even state government as well as central government they have announced many many scheme welfare schemes also for not only loan on uh, uh, you know lesser interest rate lesser interest rate also the loan is sanctioned to the farmers another thing you know the um, you know many irrigation everything water electricity every some states they are giving free electricity rajasthan and many other punjab or something like that they are giving free, free electricity to the farmers actually and they are encouraging motivating the 
you know people to come more and more in the you know producing uh, because india needs uh, you know a lot of uh, you know agricultural product because of the high population and uh, you know that uh, india is almost uh, going to become the most populous country in the world within a short time for that adequate um, you know uh, uh, stock of uh, good uh, uh, items should be available grains and whatever is there food corporation of india was set up as a, you know um, authority to procure the you know grain or whatever agricultural products and they are storing and not only they are distributing to the states uh, as per their needs whether it is wheat whether it is rice or something else because some state uh, is having surplus rice sur- surplus wheat for example punjab surplus wheat haryana so they are just you know give, giving to the central pool that is central government okay food corporation of india and you are knowing that you know through a lot of uh, public distribution system is the bds so through ration shop and other things you know so food corporation is giving to state uh, corporation will supply or whatever is that and few supply is uh, supplying to uh, ration shop ration shops are located in various parts of the state so uh, people are getting sometimes you know free ration and uh, ration is given based on your income there is yellow card there is a right card there is some other card pink card and a below poverty line above poverty line and there some people are getting more and poor people you know they are getting more rice and they will get more wheat whereas some other people they will get less because they are income is little more so government is a uh, lot of category uh, every based on the category of the people they are getting ration once in a month or once in a fortnight or whatever is there and not on every day uh, uh, of course i am just telling you correct uh, the be um, a public distribution system not 100% accurate eh? there are corruption because i will tell you one uh, the thing that um, uh, food corporation of india food corporation of india is supplying quality so one one thing is the government of india establishment can supply only quality items they will not give uh, supply any inferior quality item remember that so but uh, though said government or some other agency are getting good quality items but they will replace that with the inferior quality they want to make a profit out of it they will divert those good products to somebody else and some inferior quality item also they are distributing to the bottom of the citizen which is not desirable at all because everybody's health is more important and profit making mentality should be stopped fourth with because inferior items should not be supplied to anybody because it will affect their health because not, not only their health children's health also remember that when you adulterated or whatever is the directly to affect kids also not only the pregnant lady a lot of you know problem may occur so this type of sometimes corruption is also there and quantity uh, you know not accurate quantity and so many things are taking place that is also the but even though uh, generally public distribution system is okay it is um, there is no food security everything is the government has passed the legislation it is the already now here agrarian uh, classes okay what is that actually now here crop share what is the crop share see what happen when you are not uh, having the land you are taking land of somebody and do and with a promise that uh, when you produce something certain percentage of that will end over to owner of the land okay this is crop share, sharing of uh, whatever you produce because you don't have land so that is crop share that is maybe the understanding will be there that is on rent basis you will procure uh, t- take the land and they will produce uh, it is there now also it is there now then another thing is that 
unpaid labor of the tenant agricultural laborer see one thing if somebody is uh, taking land from you for cultivation you are not bothered about uh, the laborer that is the duty of the man who hired uh, when taken the because no need to pay the wages you know he can all the whatever he got it is profit for him the land owner because no burden if any climatic condition also whatever labor issues are the uh, minimum wages no bother that the other man has to take care of that so there is a law that minimum wages are to be equal remuneration act is also there that is equal equal pay that is female and male they have to get the same salary not that lady will get less male will get more uh, another aspect is there no agricultural land bonded labors are working bonded labor bonded labor you know it is prohibited actually this is against law because you know people you know compulsory the land owner they are uh, just you know keeping the person in their so shelter something they are giving wife children everybody they have to you know, please remember you are not supposed to engage anybody below 18 years they engage children are not allowed to uh, work because up to the age of 14 they have to get the, as per the constitution of india free education is there at that time they should not go for agricultural cultivation or whatever is the children should not be deployed for the purpose okay now uh, but still i will not name the uh, you know the states actually because uh, this is uh, you know telecast so that's why i am just because being recorded so there are certain states still bonded labor service still bonded labor because you know they cannot move anywhere they cannot go outside uh, that uh, you know uh, premises also lot of things are there and another aspect is that um, customary exaction that is you know strict hard rules that is you know land owners you know if you go to uh, you know some states coastal belt of some other states i am not telling like that there is sometimes gundaism they are cheating the ordinary even farmers also they are taking away the land also lot of disputes uh, in disputes you know the poor people what they will do uh, who are is having more money you know they will procure or capture the land and automatically through their political influence or whatever is there they will become the owner of the you know uh, uh, land by paying you know bribe or whatever is there. that is also happening is not good also because uh, uh, everybody has got right to live in this world actually now another aspect that right to arise over the woman of inferior tenant and labor for sexual gratification of the landlord this is earlier no explanation is required no because it is in your book i am not telling that it is there it was there see rights over the woman of inferior tenant and labor for sexual gratification of the landlord then another thing is that okay no explanation that you are uh, knowing with various nowadays of course it is not uh, allowed very very strict rules are there and please remember that supreme court guidelines are there so it is not allowed uh, uh, very very strict punishment is there criminal okay then various expression of difference used uh, for uh, for the landlord symbolize some subordinates and labor that is you know lower caste upper caste and other things you know that uh, that is also still it is there agree you are Uh, the treatment you know lower caste upper caste everywhere it is there which is not a desirable at all so whether it is lower caste whether it is upper caste yet we are all human being uh, you know who is bothered who has seen tomorrow what will happen suppose if you tell that i am upper caste or uh, whatever is there so in this upper caste man tomorrow we don't know for example two three days back uh, i was just uh, i asked my friend uh, how are you so he told he gave the answer today i am all right tomorrow i don't know tomorrow i can tell only tomorrow that you know whether i am okay or not see this is the position so whether he caste based religion basis and other things you know we should not quarrel with each other and there is no uh, advantage out of it today or tomorrow it will pay back definitely pay back that is the then 
another thing that uh, you know various expression as uh, that i already told now what i want to tell another thing social economic geographical political and administrative condition yes some people in india you know there are a lot of diversity and other things are there See, i am just a uh, very postgraduate diploma this thing also and uh, for your information i am just telling you that uh, very pg drd as well as uh, mrd both uh, combined i am taking because this mrd 101 is applicable to pg drd also same syllabus uh, in the first year so uh, because um, uh, pg drd is only one year another is two years. so what happened uh, this employment oriented uh, and this course actually so kindly you know uh, not only that there is a project uh, work uh, project report also you to submit uh, in the first year i already explained this type of thing if you have got any clarification you tell me at the end of the session so project report also you have to make and uh, uh, many 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 especially mrd i have seen that uh, people uh, completed the courses and other things afterwards they are not getting the certificate because they have not submitted the project report so if you start making that and submit uh, directly to ho and uh, if any help is uh, needed always you can contact me also i am also project guide of many 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 people so i can also help you but submit ah uh, i am why i am telling please please this is recorded it is good actually i am just telling one more thing today morning i got a one call from trichu remember see i was a project guide and you know the student wanted my help a student learner i can say wanted my help as a project guide so on phone they talked okay i extended all you know all send i have sent all the uh, guidelines and other thing so you submit like this i mean like that so i just you know okay i have uh, synopsis she prepared she prepared and after the project report also i also added many things and like that now what happened listen this is applicable to each and everybody this is a lesson now what happened this madam uh, prepared the project report dissertation submitted to head office you know and the first time i heard this though i was uh, guide of many many uh, students actually this i was not knowing that and they on receipt of this project report they communicated to her that we cannot accept because your registration is four or five years back so you should have submitted this project report much earlier and they refused this will happen see i don't know no she never told that i am so and so batch or something like that you know, i just provided a help only so this is for information of all the pgda mrd students actually within the stipulated period we had to complete the project report so now here then she was asking sir what i will do i told i cannot do anything you had you didn't disclose that you know you took four years back or five years back admission and you just only wanted my help i provided my duty is over other thing you directly take up with uh, ignu i cannot do anything i am only a project guide you know so uh, this happened so why you request all the learners that the project report should be completed within the stipulated period and should be submitted uh, if any doubt is always you can ask me okay it, because the, today morning it happened then i told that you know again you just request uh, the ss project case you know they will not accept because it is central government rules and uh, central university they have got specific rules so people should know learners should read the uh, ma learners manual that study uh, material or whatever is there you know student guide or whatever is there no properly because we cannot help that you know that is their duty to do that now this is the thing so if any doubt if anybody is asking i having you can ask then uh here what i am telling uh, yes okay and i told you uh, social economic geographic political and administrative condition of the farmers market forces whatever you are producing whether you are able to sell it very very bad situation in the country i am just telling you 
Punjab, you know, you know that farmers' agitation in Delhi. What was their need, their requirement? Because whatever they are producing, they are not getting the pri prices. So minimum in you know, a price, you know, that should be fixed. Because you see, for man uh, producing something ten rupee, and you are getting only five rupee by selling that, who will do that? This thing because it is not viable, no. So market forces, competition, then uh, you know social uh, problems, economic problems, geographic. Certain areas we can produce. For example, certain items only. So wheat. Take the example wheat. That will be uh, only in Punjab, Haryana, and Delhi, Rajasthan. Not uh, Tamil Nadu, Delhi, uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, or Kerala. So geographical way also agricultural production is also going on. Okay, then uh, market force I told, political I already told, the administrative condition. What are the benefits you are extending to the farmers? Not by election promises, whether they are fulfilling or not. See, for example, I will just tell you straight away. In the election, you are telling that we will waive off the loan taken by you from the bank. Yes. Okay, then afterwards, you know, you won the election afterwards, you know, you are not acting upon. Then what will happen? So, many governments, they have done, even central government also, they sometimes, you know, they have already waived off certain loan because poor people, they are unable to pay back. Because what happened, no? Interest, compound interest, everything, you know, these people, bank will charge. It is, we cannot afford of that, you know, paying. While we did better, my utmost care is to be taken while taking a loan from the bank. Bank, uh, of course, it is a commercial organization. They will not, uh, though they are having corporate social responsibility, they are answerable to somebody else, board of directors. So, non-performing assets, you know, then it will create problem for that uh, manager or general manager or whoever it is, how it has come like this. Okay. So, the, then, another point is land reform. You know that uh, state like Kerala, Land reforms, they take, you know, you know very well that uh, some other states also land reforms. And nowadays, many, 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 many states, a lot of acts are passed. Then, uh, rent paid, sometimes, I already told you, if land is not available, on rental basis, farmers are taking, uh, you know, area for cultivation. Then, uh, not only that, rent is also fixed by certain state government. You should not charge uh, for helping the farmers because some landowners will, uh, you know, charge huge amount from these poor uh, farmers. So government has fixed a certain rate also uh, for this purpose. State, a certain state government. Now another thing is that uh, rendier classes. That is, you know, their duty is only to take the land and cultivate uh, on rental basis. That uh, that one class is also the. Then another uh, absentee land land lord. Landlord will not be, you cannot see landlord anywhere. The man who took a, on lease basis or whatever is the rental basis, he will be running the show. You cannot see the, who is the landlord. And afterwards, you know, he will give the share or whatever agreement, you know, the, he will fulfill that. Then, peace and classes, that is farmers. Okay. Livelihood, farmers' livelihood, it is miserable, sir. Nowadays, it's miserable because of the climatic change and everything. It's really, really problem because uh, state governments and, uh, you know, governments are not, you know, uh, you know, we are not uh, the providing necessary help. Required help, I can say English. Required help to the farmers at the appropriate time. Not that, you know, if somebody dies, then you, you, you get the benefit. You should give the benefit to the family. When he is alive, you give, no. See, not that when somebody died, then you are giving two lakhs or three lakhs. What is the use of that? Because he is a breadwinner or whatever is there, you know, that gentleman. So, clear cut policy should be there to remove this type of anomalies in the society. Okay. Then another thing, uh, peace and class, then small, there are small farm, farms. Farmers also, small, you know, they are just for survival, certain agricultural land will be there. Sometimes big family, uh, big farmers are also there, you know, very well. 
okay they are uh, you know considered as a raja or king of that particular area then family labor what is family labor that though you are having the land and you your family members will do the cultivation you will not uh, take any labor from outside market and with the help of your family member it is it is not the who is available in the family to do the family and agriculture production i don't think very few it may be a fiber Pre- previously it was previously when i was young i can see that in my family it also all the people were doing that uh, you know our own land our own cultivation the everything will go to our own house nobody nobody is available that is the thing so uh, family labor so uh, that people will do the cultivation then uh, feudalistic you know very well those who are having big uh, land uh, i this thing and uh, the, the feudalistic approach no uh, explanation is required no then if any doubt is there please note down at the end you can ask me because you know because it is a limited time uh, you know i have to cover maximum okay because the subjects are fixed the same problem i face for another class also only one hour i to cover two chapters <laughs> two units okay so it is nice because there is a german rule actually whatever is there we have to obey now another thing the uh, interrelationship farmer is you know you know that interrelationship should be there because you know, uh, you know many things you know we have to uh, uh, get the bene- uh, uh, you know help of others also then capitalist farmer farmers are the you can see many many parts in various parts of the country capitalist farmers are the rich and the family cultivation family labor then what are the you know in order to this uh, farmers are having lot of problems actually lot of movements have taken place you have seen last year and to the previous year mobile during covid or whatever it is in delhi uh, nearly one year or something like that you know heavy lot of people you know they died some how many people died also they were agitating and so many from rajasthan haryana punjab and so many other states people of up who participated in that they were having their own grievances but i am telling you openly i am telling you because i am an individual i am a born of fat citizen of the country okay so i can tell my own opinion not anybody's opinion are, are you uh, you know do you think that um, we had dealt with the issues properly <laughs> we just gave promise still people are suffering because why i am telling in many places like maharashtra karnataka tomato they are producing 1 rupee market they are getting 1 rupee what they will do and producing that they must have spend 5 5 rupee and they are getting for the you know by way of sale 1 rupee then same way milk they were just in you know, throwing you know on road and other things you know so what government has to assure that you know the products are see why i am telling recently you can see that in kerala uh why i am telling kerala one example i am just showing not that you know i am talking about kerala or something like that i am showing some examples and you can understand easily you know the largest you know the cultivation of uh, you know rice that is in palga district in kerala of course kutanad is there, that is only particular area okay and you will remember uh, this happened just 3 uh, 4 days back and you know they did the agriculture this thing and nobody is there to lift the paddy to the go down of uh, whatever the civil supply department or whatever, nobody is coming and you know they paddy everything was just lying on the ground and remember nowadays periodic rain is there if rain is there what will happen you know heavy loss for the farmers and you know they are cultivated by way of taking loan from the bank how they can repay back the paddy completely it will be spoiled nobody is there to lift okay and we are buying from other state 
Onam and everything, our minister, food minister is going to Andhra Pradesh. And it is a fact I am just telling you, because not that we are going and making arrangement that Andhra rice is coming or some other rice is coming. Not that from, not there, we are grateful to other states, you know, whether it is Tamil Nadu, whether it is Karnataka, whether it is something, we are grateful to other states. And how can you take, uh, you know, prestige that we have arranged, uh, you know, ensured a right for Onam celebration and other things. When you are having large, you know, uh, you know, the lot of area for cultivation available in the state, why don't you utilize that properly? So this is the question which, uh, you know, we have to ask actually. Now, I'm not telling you, other states are cooperating with our state very nicely. Others don't doubt we are grateful to them. But we are not grateful to our politicians. Because when we are having our own land and other things, why, why you are not ensuring uh, that the proper cultivation is taking place or not? What are the drawbacks? Why don't you take remedial step? That is the thing. Nothing is available. Everything is coming from... We have become a, uh, you know, consumer state. Though we are having everything available on earth. That is the beauty. We are having surrounded by backwaters and uh, 44 rivers and Arabian Sea. Still, we are having drinking water shortage. Okay? So, who has to see this? This, everybody, planning is required. We are not blaming any government. Planning is required. Then, you know, so that, uh, you know, Long, uh, you know, big, you know, so, some um, revision is required for the by the for the administrators actually, not a short term benefit, long term benefit. We have to see that. Now, I am just. Uh, can I ask one question to you? When Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was there, not that you know we are not uh, you know discussing any uh, politics or something. When India got independent, the biggest problem we are having lack of agriculture production. No electricity, no employment, no food, everything. In spite of that, you know, somebody, you know, so many other people, uh, you know, helped the central government to, uh, you know, uh, make many, many industries and set up many government of India, you know, uh, laboratories. Irrigation facility like Bakaran Angle. Now, can you imagine Bagran Angle, which is the highest dam in India? And uh, see, uh, many many times I was there uh, when, uh, in Punjab. I've seen many times, and uh, water, you know, 60 ki square kilometers or something like that. And that, you know, still, it is there. that is the vision. Then Hirakud, uh, Mahanadi, everything. Lot of things are there. These are all vision. Now, one example I will conclude. One example I will conclude with this. There is a city called Chandigarh. Planned city, Lucarbosa. Okay, again, at that time I was a Prime Minister Nehru. Okay, now what happened? Can you show any other city or town like this anywhere in India? Why don't you, even after, you know, constructing this, you know, making the Chandigarh beautiful, we could not make another Chandigarh so far. Yeah, of course, you can know it, uh, or Bangalore, something, some area you developed. That is secondary. But you see the planning done by a foreigner and very Chandigarh. Let's see the beauty. And have you seen that we are quarreling each other? There is only one secretary for two government, seven story building. Of course, I, for the last, I think from 2000 onwards, I don't know, up to 2000, I am telling, one building, half portion for Haryana, out of seven, do you think, half portion for Punjab? Punjab Haryana High Court also, Punjab and Haryana High Court. Very, very cordially it is running. And well planned, the planning was done, not now. 
many, 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 many years ago. That is called, whenever we do something, very good planning is required. Okay. So that our people will be benefited out of it. Not short-term benefit. Not short-term benefit. We are, you know, fulfilling the political promise, you know. Uh, we are doing something, something to please the people, you know. It is not... Uh, what is the use? One day you are eating, tomorrow you are starvation is there. Then 365 you do, you do eat, you know. So planning should be like that. Now, previously, planning commission was there, now Nidhi Ayog is there. Now, we, we don't know what is their function, we don't know. And uh, previously, planning commission, what happened now? First five year plan, second five year plan. Still, I am teaching the students, law students, and your own, you know, so many students actually about the planning commission. Now, I stopped my teaching because I don't know what are the vision. Because the first five year plan, this is the thing which you have to do scientific, uh, you know, starting, uh, what is that, you know, uh, eradication, another eradication property, uh, then electrification, then educational, uh, this thing, and then scientific uh, temperament, or uh, whatever. You know, instead so many, so many, so many, uh, oh, each, uh, you know, planning commission, I mean, this thing is there. Now, we don't know. And daily, I'm reading two, three newspapers, and I'm yet to, I'm teaching hundreds of students, uh, but uh, the way till, you know, 12th, uh, five-year plan, I was, I was teaching. And I don't know what is the goals and other thing. Nobody knows. I had to see the Google, uh, whatever is the, but it is not reliable sometimes. We don't know. Anything can put in the Google, so this thing also, website also, you know. Previously, it was not like that, you know, what I'm telling. Yeah, planning. So, the chief minister has to go for getting the, you know, the financial, this thing, uh, layout, uh, this thing, for the next uh, year. They have to uh, sit with the planning commission, deputy planning commission, as well as he has to discuss with the prime minister also. These are our Act, we, we are proposed activities in the next year. We require this much money. We require this type of train and other thing. We are having this type of problem. That type of things are not taking place, sir, for your kind of information. So for development, everybody, federal structure, everybody's contribution is even for you, from you and me also, everybody. Is and the farmers, they play a vital role. And you have to see whether we are treating them treating them uh, properly or not because they are having a lot of problems because they are taking bankrupt and there is so many insolvency and then many things, you know. So we have to take care of them, okay? That's all. Now, there are movement, movements. Uh, movements, uh, that uh, farmers' movement was there, laborers' movement was there, you know, students' movement was there, you know, woman, backward class movement was there, tribal committee movement was there, because of movement, eh, a lot of, you know, decision afterwards government is taking. So, now, here you for getting freedom. Freedom also, Kittinja movement was, you know. Same way, for their welfare, they are also doing. Uh, agri now, you can see that, you know, agri uh, our farmers, as it is, movement and other things, you know. So, that is also taking place for the welfare. Then, another thing, bring about change. So, what happened? We had to do uh see modern world is the world of specialization so many changes are taking place automation etc 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 so there should not be resist resistance to change we have to go follow we have to go according to the changes otherwise you will be very 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 backward so for example, previously, how we were doing agriculture production, now tractor, combustion, many other things, you know, we are using modern tools, which will make it uh, very easy and more labels are not required. So we had to uh, adopt, uh, you know, that type of met methods also for our agricultural production. Then comprehensive ideology, then have a strategy. Planning is required. I told you, you know, strategy. Now, one thing I am just telling you, uh, I used to see, I or you, you read the newspaper. Suppose Onam is, uh, suppose August or September. Now, in July, we will make some vegetable, uh, cultivating vegetable, and they, we will announce, this is, we are doing for, you know, Onam, 
you know to whom you are giving this uh, vegetable who is getting this vegetable you want the vegetable only for one <laughs> the, so these are all cheap publicity actually you know we require that you know very very pure you know without any you know chemical this thing or something you know always for keeping our health good properly isn't it so we are always you know sometimes misguiding the people also sometimes okay that is also the so what i am telling farmers are also sometimes using pesticides and many other things they are not aware of see what have been they are to get the agriculture production more or whatever they are, they are using certain pesticides and poor people they don't know if they use what will happen they are not washing their hands sometimes so this general awareness should be there who will give that agriculture department whether you are giving then if you are giving then how the kasar code will become like this okay kasar code you know that you know so how aware proper awareness should be there then another thing peace and the movement at uh, that also told you farmers movement concrete they are having certain demand concrete demand these uh, farmers are having certain lot of demand you know so that way to see what are them we are spending crores of rupees for various other purpose but when you are considering farmers humble request we are taking lot of time to take a decision which is not at all desirable because they are backbone of the country our rashtrapita mahatma gandhi says that india lies in villages i am more than 60% are people are the from villages the farmers you have to make them happy you know then only india will become happy uh, if you want to develop india you have to develop the, our rural area first okay now concrete planning then more sometime you know protest it is become violent or sometime you know because you know if government is not listening then what will happen even delhi has it happened no? the government is not listening see one more thing i am telling you not only this agriculture production sometime atomic power plant and other thing kodam kolam and other thing you know jagat so many the maharashtra violent protest also taking place that will affect the health of the people radiation and other other thing so okay sometimes what happen this uh, ideology strategy and uh, everything is required and uh, native and nature and uh, extend that also we have to see social transformation has to take place the social transformation is also required actually social transformation now another aspect is that i told you changes then established a power so everybody you know the farmer everybody should have a say even in the uh, our uh, uh, this thing you know panchayat raj system and other thing what are grievances they are having somebody they have to take care of you know village krishi bhavan everything then relates the you know to violence sometimes you know violence also taking place told you already violence also then social leg- uh, legitimacy uh, legitimacy see some people are telling genuine issues genuine issues are there so we have to consider it sympathetically and for that we are taking lot of time so their demand is very very genuine sometimes so for that you know we should not take much time to then another thing is that uh, quality of movement eh? sometimes you know, many many movement uh, farmers movement student movement teachers movement so many other you know it is uh, it aims to bring about the strategies and tactics okay tactic now another aspect is that uh, we are now active at the framework for analysis for by which uh, we can assess more you know practically the following the nature of the quality of movement uh, co- nature of the quality of movement uh, then another thing the change it aims to bring suppose if any movement take place what are the changes which is going to take take place the another thing the main uh, you know the strategies and the tactic it may use so when, when you are doing the movement or whatever is there what are the strategies everything that you are going to take suppose you are agitating something or how you are going to do that that also you, you have to plan it you know we, when you know you cannot do uh, do this in uh, uh, in the you know prohibited area or whatever is there we have to 
plan it properly and wherever it is allowed that the no another aspect is that movements arising out of feudalistic and capitalistic contradiction that is paisa wala you know money my uh, having feudalistic agrarian system that you know those who are having more money their approach their you know approachment towards approach, approach towards the peasants then exploitation is taking place exploitation is also taking place so we are exploiting the farmers and we are asking them to do the job instead of 8 hours 10 hours and you are paying only 8 hours job salary my wages so exploitation is not at all that's why government has implemented many 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 rules minimum wages equal remuneration and uh, then working away factory act or whatever so many acts are there and uh, you know we uh, people are doing continuously or whatever is the uh, you know uh, what are the benefit other benefit we can give a lot of things are there you know then uh, another thing is contradiction between the rural and urban you know urban in industry sometimes what happen no in uh, if in the rural area you are very sound in agricultural production automatically the urban area also lot of requirement will be there i will tell you what it is see you are doing sort of lot of agriculture production in the rural area for that you want tractor na tractor assembly unit will be there that will be in the urban area so so many other uh, products and you know, spare parts and other things are again no? when you are as uh, so, a uh, for that you know ancillary unit also uh, will be there actually so when one way you are progressing the other way industrial sector also will progress this is the example agricultural you know the whether it be tractor or some other other things or many other automation or whatever is there then urban area they will produce everything they will supply to the farmers also it is happening very nice example i told you tractor okay tractor unit also located in some sometime in urban area but they will supply to farmers also now yes then uh, post independence agrarian you now after independent the level the you know what the agricultural farmers who, how they were before independence now how they are after the independence you can just you know make a comparison lot of government has extended a lot of uh, benefits to them but some very many they are not knowing even so it is necessary that to, to have general awareness among them and what are the, not only that you know some uh, counseling also you will sometimes get they are sometimes very very disappointed and family due to family issues financial issues and you know, so many other problem and uh, so uh, seriously we to think and uh, try to solve those issues also then they can the other other is what happen they will not uh, do the agricultural you know this thing also activity with they will think that you know even if i produce then i am not getting the price you know that type of things may happen then another thing is that uh, uh, yes yeah, movement movement naxalite movement see naxalite movement, we are telling hey what why they are doing they have got certain problem that's why that movement is taking place okay naxalite movement means you know see they are being isolated actually from the other area actually they are not getting any benefit or anything they don't have starvation many problems and other thing and they are being cheated and uh, by the landlords and other uh, landowners and other thing rich people and this type of movement is also taking place you know that chatisgarh Uh, yesterday also so many jawans died okay so capabilities of market yes i told you green revolution so because of that uh, green revolution you know that uh, agriculture production has gone up considerably we have become self reliant in in many uh, agricultural areas actually we the credit will go to uh, you know dr m swaminathan who was instrumental in uh, you know implementing this type of you know policies uh, green revolution in the country okay so new new seeds 
uh, he in uh, you know the, our research uh, agricultural university or baba name is the new new uh, you know agricultural seeds they just produced they experimental after doing lot of research because what within the shortest period how they can grow and we can you know do the harvesting and etc within previously you know one year one time now afterwards you know it twice now every three months you know you can have this paddy cultivation etc that type of crop that type of uh, seed they develop and there is a seed development corporation in each and every state also okay now a pressure like uh, you know money and uh, you know money lending yes this is the other biggest hurdle actually because the farmers are having lot of problem and they are taking uh, money from the you know uh, zamindar money lender very horrible thing actually and uh, you know the money lender what they are doing they will interest the compound interest they don't want capital they want only interest capital will remain as it is so many people really suffered because of this okay then uh, zamindar you know that many people that type of things are also there then movements uh you know arising out of feudalistic contradictions after 1950 gramdas gramdas is this you know 1952 telangana movement bhudan movement you know in vinoba bhavi trusteeship that mean we should have that between uh you know whether a landlord landlord or uh, owner or uh, the other person farmer should have the trusteeship also gramda that is you know bhudan uh, that is you know, whoever is having more land they are sometimes you know they are giving donation or giving the land to the landless people also vinoba bhave took the initiative yeah, from nalagunda district forget okay, that time it was andhra pradesh okay so vinoba bhave you know very well bhudan uh, okay very simple living the gentleman and uh, you know he, on, he took the initiative for this type of thing then persuasion and uh, non violence so whenever you are doing the uh, movement any type of movement always you know you have to see ensure that non violence and india is the only country which got independent by way of uh, you know non violence actually baki you know all these countries you know they got uh, you know freedom to because of the, you know either you know what is happening in other countries you know uh, sudan you take this example sudan palestine israel see what is happening there now these type of things are but india uh, you know no, uh, adopted the non violence method under the dynamic leadership of our uh, great personality mahatma gandhi our rashtrapita and it is a uh, really you know he was role model to other persons other countries in the world how we can get the thing done by way of non violence also and experimenting the truth also and uh, so mahatma gandhi will remain as a greatest personality uh, for everybody even american president also obama all these people you know very 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 martin luther king so everybody even uh, nelson mandela all these people you know they just you know really really uh, admired mahatma gandhi efforts okay so we should also uh you know we should not forget the contribution done by this type of personalities in the past okay now shramdan endana shramdan you know what happened charka that is you know previously mahatma gandhi you know surat or whatever that you know um, Sab- uh, sabarmati that you know by ambar charka charka then for get you know providing employment etc so our uh, Uh, girl, uh, the ladies and they used to government used to uh, give, uh, provide charka as well as karga for you know doing that uh, uh, you know cloth making uh, you know endable okay then gram uh, what is that gram don that is gram uh, gram uh, village improvement that is the, the forces of exploitation that i already told forces of exploitation then naxal bari that is west bengal 
Nakhalite movement, Nakhalwari, so many people died at that time. Okay, but, but they did that for certain purpose, I believe, you know. So, you know, uh, everything is happening because of certain background will be there. So, we should anticipate these type of things and uh, remedial steps should be taken so that we can solve many, 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 many issues. We should not wait until it is, uh, you know, uh, uh, occurring or uh, uh, happening. So we can, we should anticipate, we should predict this type of thing. The Nakhlet movement, I already told you, and you see this uh, Filuguri, Darjeeling, in 1967, it started Nakhlet, Bari. Then CPA, CPM, Bangla Congress, everybody, you know, they also did their role. Then PD, uh, distribution of surplus land, is required. Many people are having, I told you, you know, huge, you know, uh, land. They should, uh, uh, you know, supply those land to landless people also. You know, we are, you know, we uh, always, you know, it is not uh, necessary that, you know, everything we should possess, but others should also have, they should also live in this country. Okay, then, another biggest problem is that Bunda is a, that every eviction of uh, uh, you know, agricultural farmers from the, you know, uh, from the land, actually, you know, you go and the big people will come and say, you should vacate the place and the house or shelter and uh, we want to take back the land, etc., etc., they are telling. This is also the... Then Benami transfer. Yeah, another point. See, lands are procured by rich, rich people. And they are procuring on Benami name, you know, duplicate name. And the person is not, uh, you know, declaring the real asset. Uh, and because that Benami money or property that he is having, you know, you know very well, no explanation of the no, what is Benami. Then there is Kisan Sabha. Kisan Sabha, that is farmers, this thing, okay. Then monopoly ownership of that they are told. Okay, now, another. Peace and Committee, Farmers Committee, that is, you know, uh, you can see nowadays it is um, uh, Pajayat also, even Farmers Committee, what they will discuss each other, what are the problems they are facing, and sometimes they will not get to fertilizer, they, and the prices are going up exorbitantly. For operating generator, diesel is not available, and uh, for doing cultivation, tractor is not available. So this type of thing will be discussed during the meeting, you know, with the peace and the, the committee members and other things. Okay. Then another cheating their dues. Yes. I had to say yes. What money they're supposed to get from the government, they are not getting. I will tell you what it is. There were many. I had been to my hometown some time back. And just when I was inquiring, at that time, a gentleman was telling six months back, eh, I sold the entire agriculture production to the civil supply department. And they promised that within seven days, the automatic uh, the transfer money will come to my account. Till today, nobody has got a single paisa. So it is cheating only, you know. But as you will say in English, government is not transferring the material, the you know, uh, products which they have taken from the farmers. They are waiting. And the problem is that unless they get money from them, they cannot do the next cultivation. So they are being cheated actually sometimes. Not only government, by other people like the uh, rich people also, they are cheating. Then, but government has to play, uh, they see their own, uh, uh, you know, then what the government is there? Hello, if somebody, general public is cheating, farmers, then what, where is your police and where is your home department, where, what agric agriculture minister is doing then? Food minister, what is doing then? Food minister doesn't mean that no, he has to eat himself. He has to enter the others as we also eating, you know. So then locating goons from uh, the gundas, 
see do you i can i ask one question the gunda activity you know very well there is a gunda act also even though gunda is the kidnapping people killing the people you know very well no explanation is required no the police not not knowing that uh, such a gunda is existing in that locality they know then why they are not controlling there is a gunda act also passed by the legislative assembly then anyway i don't want to tell more but at least you should know this type of thing then these gundas will loot the guns from the landlords also sometime loot guns because some landlords are having licensed weapon also they will loot that also then another aspect that in rural area naxalite links link naxalite so they will get information that police movement about the police movement the rural people will guide them tell them informal sadhu then operation barga that is the registration of share croppers objectives both of uh, anyway that is only you know i told you uh, on rental basis when you are taking that uh, uh, you know what are the thing you have to pay to the uh, landlord that's all zamindar settlement zamindar you know that is also rich man then settlement uh, then whatever is payable you have to pay otherwise you know you know what is zamindar's attitude whatever the amount is to be paid to the landlord you have to pay zamindar that is landlord or whoever it is rich person then you, if it is not paid you know what will happen then tenant at will and fear of eviction tenant at will fear of eviction see tenant though he is taking the land he doesn't know after six months he will get the same land for cultivation so eviction will also take place the landlord will sell land owner will say that next time i will not give the land to you i will give to somebody else then what he will do this tenant member he will go because you know all the people are not having the land you know so this man will lose sometime you know many thing can happen this type of thing fear of convict, uh, you know the uh, eviction that is also taking place uh, another aspect which i want to tell you before uh, i go further that you know this type of classes so we are conducting uh, in consultation with the competent authorities out of approval from the you know regional director etc for the benefit of our learners i have seen that uh, many learners are not uh, availing due to various reasons i am not blaming them it is not compulsory but it will be helpful for them because this is the opportunity where they can ask the questions and uh, clear the doubts and uh, in the recorded this only you can hear when you appear this and uh, we should not have excuses you know there is no excuse for this i know that people are all working but if there is a bell yes and you know what will happen if the shortage of the people are there the regional office also can stop so who is that loss now so many people i have seen large number of people are there for mrd and uh, and i because i used to evaluate their assignments actually why they are not attending i don't know and uh, i only you know uh, hope that uh, there are there may be many many i have seen that while doing the evaluation mrd students are scoring less mark less mark as compared to some other course so the reason i get uh, you know when they get the opportunity they will not be you know they will not utilize those opportunity this is i am not blaming anybody maybe uh, various reasons the afterwards when the project work comes you know at that time you know they will run uh, run till at the post okay so it is but anyway i will do my duty uh, and uh, 
afterwards okay they will upload or whatever that they can see that okay but anyway one advantage again i am repeating is that you can i already told you that you are getting opportunity to ask questions and uh, you uh, i'll be able to give the answer and this is employment oriented course you know many our learners are appearing for very various types of um, you know examination like ks and uh, you know uh, public service commission and uh, civil service or whatever everywhere this is the uh, this subject is i am just telling you question will be asked from this rural development basically you know that whether it is ips whether it is ias the initial their deployment will be in the rural sector asp rural rural sp rural like the collector joint collector certain divisions and other things the rural so in rural development every profession they have to learn they have not take they should not take lightly by telling some excuses and other thing because i have seen many 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 that uh, sometimes i have seen that uh, they don't know how many pages i, I used to see from the say, how many pages we have to write sir one page is sufficient or sir like so all doubts you can clear during the, this type of interaction okay now i will not uh, tell much because you know they have to decide uh, their own this thing now structure of tenancy had been ah uh, sometime what i mean you are having tie up with the landlord or whatever is their owner or whatever is there 75 yeah, is to 35 sometimes you know landlord is taking 25 and uh, ag agriculture that is farmers is taking 75 some ratio will be fixed okay then free from uh, economic uh, you know and non economic obligation that is you know i told you, you know this uh, land owner will not have any problem because the other man is cultivating no he will not uh, take any initiative if you want you do it and he will not interfere also so without doing any job he will get a, a certain percentage of whatever income or whatever 25% of the ratio uh, 70% that man will take 25% you know by sitting in the house you can take then market uh, next one movement arising out of capitalistic contradiction market forces you know that heavy competition is taking place in the market you know that heavy competition Hmm? so you yeah, are recently you must have seen the amul products in karnataka also another product in nandini so there is a competition amul of course great uh, brand there is no doubt about it and karnataka doesn't want to introduce amul in karnataka because karnataka farmers will be affected because a uh, lot of people you know they are depend upon that uh, nandi nandini or whatever is there so this type of things are market forces competition is taking place you see my, you take the example of you forget about the farmers you take the example of car previously ambassador car, car or maruti car was there now you see the market see okay you have flooded with the different kinds of you know brands of you know in the world you know how many brands are there everything is available you will be surprised that kochi the firm which i am telling is only 1 km away where i am sitting one automobile agent is there he got continuously 18 or 19 or 20 times continuously from maruti because he is the best selling agent of all maruti products and which is the largest in the country just imagine all brands of maruti this gentleman is selling the maximum in india all brands and okay this is one now all types of things are available here is the competition taking place there is another brands also so many volkswagen so many honda or so many things are no but <clears throat> and here farmers also having problem because you know uh, if uh, you know you are producing something other men also producing same thing only they will get a lesser rate and etc 
ലെഫ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് എക്സെട്ര ദൻ കൺട്രോളോട് ദൻ റൂറൽ പവർ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കൺസോളിഡേഷൻ ഓഫ് റൂറൽ പവർ ദാറ്റ് യു നോ ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ആൾസോ നോ വില്ലേജ് മൂവ്മെന്റ് സംടൈംസ് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ നോ വില്ലേജ് ആൾസോ സം യു നോ മൂവ്മെന്റ് ഈസ് ടേക്കിംഗ് പ്ലേസ് ഇൻ ദ വില്ലേജ് ഫോർ മീറ്റിംഗ് and they are having a lot of issues and uh, at that time also they are assembling and uh, uh, some village movement is also taking place then resource uh, peace and movement the now what happened some case study they have given that you have to read nothing is there in orissa that is farmer education and so many everywhere it is there you know so that case study they have that just read that okay and uh, this is in karnataka recent peace what is that Uh, 1991 again the farmer gulbarga gulbarga district and uh, see here one aspect is the right uh, farmers are issued identity card bepari identity card also so that they can avail free uh, you know fertilizer or whatever is there or uh, incentive offered by the government respective government central or state so identity cards also issued then another thing is starvation deaths i told you many time because you know rajasthan andhra pradesh maharashtra even without reading this i just told from my memory karnataka and maharashtra lot of uh, starvation deaths are there everywhere it is there not only the states eh? don't think that in kerala also it is there. our attapadi madhu how he died because he took some food something from other house it was you know stolen or whatever is there and he was beaten to death so that is not starvation then so everywhere it is the don't think like that you know we are number one nothing is there everywhere in india it is call handi you know i don't know now the position has increased in orissa how many people once upon a time died due to uh, starvation now i don't know the position i am talking about many years ago call handi lot of people died uh, because of starvation every every in maharashtra may andhra pradesh see andhra pradesh you should not see hyderabad andhra pradesh you see srikakulam district and uh, some other state not that uh, you know where gundur or nellur were you know uh, good uh, you know um, uh, fertility land you know no not that other area you see that sometimes here varangal no i don't know the position is improved because of bifurcation and other thing i know srikakulam and other things you know i have seen many times you know vishakhapatnam is this side okay but other side you know you have to see lot of uh, sometimes starvation no i don't know the position okay so i cannot make any comment but happening in karnataka also everywhere it is there and the thought about tamil nadu tamil nadu also it is there okay so this type of things are there now another thing what is wto at quarters so they have issued a certain that is you know uh, geneva switzerland le you know they have also issued certain some declaration about the poverty eradication agricultural production and uh, what is that uh, uh, 50 157 then wto 157 members are the uh, that is a, a un organization uh, subsidiary and uh, so they have also suggested many things about uh, the improvement of farmers how to do and they are issuing general guidelines but please remember the un now and wto unicef UNDP, ILO, at the, uh, International Atomic Energy, everything. They are taking certain or issuing certain guidelines, but the member countries, they are not, it is not binding on them to follow strictly as it is. They can take their own decision. But remember, they are formulating general guidance for the welfare of the whole citizen, the people in the world. so no country can back out i will not do i will not do no this is good for each and everybody now take the example of atomic energy radiation if they are issuing any guideline can we say that we will not follow 
we have got kodangulam we have got tarapur navora atomic and so many atomic power plants actually sri ganga nagar rajasthan and many other area so radiation will not take place there kodangulam agitation took place you know that and uh, you know because they suspected that you know the radiation will go to the water and the water the fisherman will catch if he catch fishes and uh, the you digest uh, this thing eat that fish generation by generation it will be affected not only you your wife your kids everybody will be affected so that's why there was agitation so there a department of atomology so they have taken safeguard at the infrastructure of that kodangulam plant which is 100 km from trivandrum please remember that and so what happened they had taken the modern uh, whatever you know the precaution everything they had taken but these guidelines are issued by international agency the same way whether it is un or whether it is undp whether it is unicef whether it is international labor the international labor, labor organization manila see once in a year they are meeting and more than uh, 190 i think 183 countries are members of uh, i think a little more one or two um, uh, only except eight countries in the world uh, previously when i was the, uh, taking ugc net classes at that time i was i remember that except eight countries in the world uh, all are members of the international labor organization and international lab, uh, labor organization uh, what what they are taking the decision you know that how can you deny i that how can you the members of the country say i will not follow i will not follow see what is they are taking you know equal remuneration for ladies and gents or female or male can you say i will not pay number 2 eight hours working one day can you say that you know to allow then after six days one day rest can you say that i will not give rest then uh, children should be given free education till the age of 14 can you say that I, we will not give that then they say that nobody no child ch- child can be deployed as an employee in a company before attaining 18 years of age can you say that no no 14 years age also this and another thing is that hiv bo- uh, aids we should take care of them and their children properly can we say no the next transgender can we say no so these are the guidelines they are issuing then they will say that bonus should be given based on minimum bonus will be given that is you know, we have followed 8.33 that is their guideline so then uh, industrial law many other thing employee security health uh, occupational health uh, this thing uh, hazards and other thing so many guidelines so remember this type of thing will help uh, the country to prosper very well okay so this is the thing which i want to cover in this uh, uh, topic and the next unit is land reforms <clears throat> okay land reforms this is unit 2 book number 3 you need to land reform you know that in many many states you know this uh, what are the uh, objective of land reform when you are if landless people are there they should get but are they getting that is the thing big question mark yes yeah, somebody is getting an in front of camera they will hand over and uh, some land or something but uh, you remember where the land they are giving in the forest surrounded by tigers and elephant and uh, where without drinking water facility no lighting no they think electrification so land reform means you know you have to give na land good land for cultivation purpose now can i ask one question when the I mean, because you know other things you please read when the population increasing then where they are going to from where they are going to get the and uh, food items actually unless you produce you will import see if we do export then only gdp will go up manufacturing or whatever now it is service sector okay 
now what i am telling so population is increasing so we have to find the you know we have to feed them properly you know so for that agriculture production is required okay then uh, the land reform sorry i am moving because continuously i was uh, taking the class from you know okay so uh, since independence the objective of the land reform of course many states have already restructuring agrarian relations to achieve the egalitarian social structure that is our responsibility toward the farmers landless people number 2 objective uh, then number 2 eliminating exploitation of land relation land relation land relation yes exploitation land you know procuring land of somebody and you know that type of thing should be avoided land reforms you know that rule is also act it is and these are all act passed by the legislative assembly of a state okay another thing is that uh, realizing the age old goal of land of the other krishi you know what happened farmers their age old the traditional things you know law some states are having previously it was like this now also it will be like this so like that that we have to change that we have to change okay then infusing equality in society you are having lot of land other man is not having anything you are having five six uh, flat other man is sleeping on the road are you happy you are eating too much in your three times you are taking five times other man is not having some you know one time meal or whatever is there i will tell you one small story recently after christmas it, it appeared in the newspaper that tons of tons of cakes were dumped in the on the road or something like that tons of cakes christmas cake it was you know expiry date is over you see there is old age home there is orphanage there is children home there is jail state uh, our district jail why don't you give this type of cake instead of dumping or right, in throwing the tons of cakes on the road or dust bin can't you give that cakes to somebody else who can eat it happened even the last christmas after one week or two weeks we it appeared in the newspaper and they showed the picture also you can go to google and see that it happened here so it is like this so uh, this type of things are having infusing uh, what happened equality in uh, society so these people are thinking that if we give this to somebody it will affect their prestige whereas in other people but still i am telling you so many people are sleeping you can see that on road under the bridge so many even the bombay also i have seen that i was in bombay under so many railway bridge and other thing they are sleeping so you have to at least you know eat the build item you should not throw there is lot of starvation people are struggling at least for getting one day meal so this type of thing we have to keep in mind inequality then meaning and uh, objective here yeah. land reform what is land reform see land reform abolition of intermediate this all the agent is there you know sometimes that should be abolished agent will take away money 10% commission see here also sometimes if we take one house or if you want to dispose of some land again or a union is there agents are union only that man will come and negotiate with the suppose if i want to sell one land or something he will discuss with me and buyer also then he will take a 10% or whatever commission you forget about that just back side of this will there is a one, one or two trees mango tree for cutting that i called one man at that time also i afterwards i came to know that for them also there is an association for cutting tree so this type of, this type of things are also 
happening now here abolition of intermediary so what happen now if that intermediary people are there they will take commission so expenditure will go up then another thing is that tenancy reform yes that is the person who is taking the land for cultivation that act that you know rules should be reformed because all this agreement according to the suitability of the land owner he will add the clause that the poor agriculture the farmer will obey uh, the rules to frame it by the land owner so there should be a reform but there reading also will take place uh, but and one is very clever he is a rich man no? but this man cannot go to court also so this type of thing so there should be a reform then another ceiling of land holding yes some people are having lot of land some people are having so ceiling should be fixed at least one person can have how much minimum or maximum so then only the equality as per the constitution can be ensured otherwise no but it is a very difficult task eh? don't think like that it is a very difficult task then another thing consolidation of holding as uh, you know, already people, some people are having karnataka land tamil nadu land dubai land bombay land the consolidation of we have to declare properly in the income tax return that you know uh, affidavit or whatever is there in during election also we have to declare properly okay then land reform linio latin word land linio latin word means to hold and land reform and social justice against the concentration of land holding and redistribution of land see land reform in redistribution of land then agriculture agricultural production agriculture production uh, you know the la through land development see if we ah uh, one more thing is there suppose uh, some if you are getting certain land so you can develop that land for doing cultivation okay uh, we can you can make it uh, more uh, productive that land you know and which was you know uh, not at all utilized uh, some time back uh, can be utilized by making sincere efforts by the farmer then another thing peasants uh, uh, you know in uh, then farmer will also invest you know farmer will also invest lot of money for doing the cultivation so another thing uh, yes then one advantage is that farmer is also then will become owner one way you know i had done this and uh, he is also uh, he will also expect that some uh, you know something will you know i will get back okay that happiness will be there you know then another thing increasing income and employment your income will be increased you know employment also will be there you no know? when you are having land in cultivation you are getting employment also two time cultivation means you know uh, you are engaged and you are getting uh, you know you can live comfortably your family can live comfortably by way of that producing rice or whatever is there then uh, your income will go up and surplus money can be utilized for education for your children and higher studies or whatever is there or if you are sick something for medic meeting the medical expenses also you can utilize those income so then agriculture the em uh, employment in agriculture i told you then uh, bad uh, oh sorry but uh, uh, industry sector also can develop i already told you 60% of the workers is engaged in agriculture i told you already our you know india so more than 60% people are uh, engaged in agricultural uh, activity but remember i can suggest you one thing i'm sorry because continuously i'm sitting sorry i for my little movement and other thing <sighs> see what happen unless you motivate or support this agriculture uh, farmer in coming days or days or whatever is there 
whatever is left out that also perhaps you know it will come down decline agricultural production because they are not doing agriculture production because they are suspecting that no profit only loss will be there i have to take a loan i have to reap pay back with interest etc and i will not get uh, this type of thing from the land which is utilized for the purpose of agricultural production so this is also the then another aspect land reforms historical perspective major break with the traditional system the land reform okay that of in kerala also uh, in the first uh, uh, community government you know uh, em asambodri pada that uh, land reform act uh, came to, into effect and uh, so here uh, the major uh, break with the traditional system land reform uh, when when the act was passed and uh, so many changes have taken place and uh, uh, many laws are favoring the farmers actually okay but the desired level i don't know whether it is uh, achieved or not but still some uh, something is better than nothing okay then settlement that is british previously what happened no the many many uh, all, all around the world actually you know what happened the recovery the you know of from the agricultural land many many in you know, a mughal period you know chandragupta as well akbar all the people are when they were ruling india at that time also they were collecting revenue from the agricultural land and here what when british people were ruling india at that time they will the collector main duty is to collect unfortunately that word became district collector now okay so collector means revenue revenue from where this agriculture or whatever is there okay so this is the thing so uh, british period also it was there now another thing is that permanent settlement systems so you can confidently settle down some place from where you can earn and live comfortably for that land is required uh, facility should be there and uh, the zaminda system should be abolished this type of things are there okay then now some case study that is you know jagidari system and uh, you know that type of uh, some tenancy about that some case study they have given actually okay that is what is the bengal how they are collecting the revenue some other state how they are collecting intermediate um, intermediaries that is commission agent property rights about that you know just to read that you know nothing, nothing is that to explain then eviction of landless people that you know unemployment you know very well see here one aspect which i want to communicate is that farmers are doing the cultivation only for 6 months in a year the uh, balance 6 months they are unemployed do you think that a farmer will be employed throughout the year 365 days because of the climate and other things where uh, how can he do the because you know irrigation or whatever is there water supply everything sometimes it will not be there and not only they are uh, suffering a lot uh, due to various reason and uh, so unemployment uh, so what uh, there are some statutory uh, acts passed by the respective state government as regards land reforms are concerned and uh, central government also state government also uh, not only that this type of acts are passed by the respective state governments only okay now <clears throat> uh no is when we are take, talking about the uh, movements naxal naxal bari and other things i told you know there the, the, you know, we should we suggest that peaceful you know procession everything is required there should not be any violence whatsoever uh you know that type of thing we uh, expect from this type of people okay now another thing is that uh now previously that five year plan uh, our target was to increase the agriculture production 
five year plan one of our five year plan that is uh, first five year plan at that time you know their uh, objective was to increase the agri agriculture production in the country government set up many central committees how to increase the agriculture production in the country and uh, land you know these uh, reforms and uh, then plan document they prepared in the planning commission they prepared plan document what is that they suggested intermediaries about the intermediaries but you know because farmers uh, are affected because of this commission agent then large owners then what to do with them small and middle level uh, you know people are the tenant i told you that people are taking land on rental basis and land less worker what we have to do this type of things what they have to do they prepared a plan document by the planning commission at the time of first five year plan when nehru was the prime minister okay now also a lot of uh, you know good things are uh, uh, taking place now recommendation of kumarappa committee lot of committee they set up actually for how to uh, increase our agricultural production so here one committee recommendation i am telling you elimination of all you know intermediate i told you then uh, subletting of land that is you know on rental basis then restriction on the resumption of the land by the land owner that is you know limitation of fixing the ceiling then another thing safeguarding the position of tenants their what are their position tenant whether you know uh, that you know we have to through act we have to safeguard their interest not that all of a sudden you know we should evict those tenants then another thing is that financial uh, you know institutional support for tenants to realize the above measures so we have to provide adequate support to the tenants that is our uh, farmers without which they cannot survive in this i am telling you 100% 90% of the farmers are suffering 90 whatever they are producing whether it is rubber whether it is uh, you know coffee because you know they are having lot of difficulties because pesticides or some other things and uh, so we have to compensate we have to give give subsidy then another thing is that setting up of separate central land commission central land commission so they suggested actually kumar kumarappa committee so they suggested that then another thing is abolition of intermediate told you then ceiling i had told you agrarian re- uh, then farmers organization farmers you know ifco in gujarat it is an organization of the type of things you know agrarian reorganization including consolidation of holdings uh, you know land uh, owners and other thing so this type of thing in five uh, then eighth five year plan also re- then again the elimination same thing they repeated detect uh, redistribution of the land rights of tenants what is the right of tenant that also they discussed uh, then uh, leasing of land should be made permissible within the ceiling limit leasing of the land that should be within the ceiling limit there should be rule then poor should be uh, you know given access to the waste land the waste land if any then poor should be given preference then not that whoever is having money they can procure no then uh, they right then uh, consolidation of land that i already told you then national agriculture policy in 2000 2000 government of india issued a national agriculture policy you know that we are having agricultural department uh, sorry ministry is there and agriculture department is there in the state also and we are having agricultural university there are 47 agricultural universities uh, central universities in the country Agri- central universities in the country and there is ministry in the very big ministry agriculture ministry and uh, so many subsidiaries and uh, in a state it is called a department of agriculture there is a, again a cabinet minister so they, what are their you know their role is to enhance the production of agricultural products you know 
So this type of things are there. Then abolition of intermediate that I already told you. Tenants reform I already told you. Security tenor, security tenor that you know when we take the land from somebody, then some sort of security should be there. Ah, yeah, the landowner should not take away the land during the interim period. That is the thing. The security should be there. Then only he will be, uh, he will be happy. Okay. Then um, regulation of rent. Then whatever when we are taking rent, uh, land on rental basis, there should be some rules. How much uh, you know rent he has to pay. The farmer has to pay to the land. That government has to fix. That is in the uh, land reform that is mentioned. Then uh, ownership rights. I already told you. Legal flaws. Farmers are not uh, knowing the legal formalities. So necessary help is to be provided by, you know, free legal help. Then panchayat and village office has to extend a lot of facilities to uh, this type of farmers and weak administrative machinery. These type of things are there. Okay. Now, film, lamp, prime, pre revise. Okay. Consolidation of holdings. Consolidation. Okay. Then new development, then cooperative sector also, contract farming. That is what is the corporate. Uh, see, big company, I'll tell you, uh, because I don't want to elaborate each and everything. See, you take the example of Pepsi. In Punjab, they're taking a land on contract basis, contract farming. And they are asking the farmers to uh, produce potatoes for purpose of making chips. That is lace and other things. And they are exporting. So contract basis also, the cooperative sector, the cooperative sector, and uh, they are taking that land, etc. And the corporate, and they're giving huge amount for them. Okay, then uh, another thing, I will take two minutes more. Then uh, let me complete this. Shortcoming in the past, okay, that is okay. Identification of Benami land. See, people are taking, procuring, possessing the land in Benami. You know very well. No explanation is required. Then distribution, legal definition, that is also the some okay. Then there are a lot of success stories where you know development has taken place. Okay. Then uh, new year and holistic approach. So government as well as other uh, people, uh, they have to take initiative for uh, see the summary is like this. India's diversity, a lot of land is available, more than 28 states, more than you know. Uh, seven union territories in India. We are blessed with a uh, uh, lot of land actually here, and uh, some land is very fertile land. And uh, you know, another one one a uh, very, ha very happy thing which I want to communicate is that you know recently when uh, news item appeared in the newspaper that uh, India has become India is going to become the most populous country in the world within a short time, there was an editorial note written by an eminent personality that we are not uh, concerned with that because the diversity of the country, because some area there is no population. So the excess people can live there also. But in China, it is not possible. China, there is no land to live. But in India, there are some, you know, la land where there is no, uh, people are not at all living. That people are either in the town or something in uh, some other area, hilly area or some other area. But this can, people can be, uh, you know, live, uh, they can live comfortably. This is one. Then we have got uh, uh, so many land, so many rules framed by the state uh, legislator, central parliament, everything, a lot of facts are there. So like earlier, people cannot cheat the farmers and, uh, you know, they cannot exorbitantly charge interest from farmers. Interest, compound interest, etc., etc. There are rules framed by the government, the cooperative sector, cooperative department, everything. So generally, the, um, uh, our farmers are getting a lot of facility from the state government, the central government. But uh, through, without intermediary, they should, without any agent, they should directly get the benefit. Because others are taking advantage. And some people are not at all knowing the facilities extended by the state government and the central government. General awareness should be there. So let me conclude the, today's lecture. What is the contribution of this agriculture university? 
and research and development what are the contribution they had done only god knows see this is the thing see the government has set up this type of institution with the you know high you know uh, this thing uh, the certain goals are there and uh, but uh, we have to produce results but of course there are certain universities and i am not telling that manuthi agriculture university are not done but what happened we are uh, you know uh, we can do many thing and not only that our we are fortunately kerala is having fertile land which is not uh, sometimes utilized properly so they should also suggest uh, good things and uh, for the welfare of the farmers this is one now another point is that uh, the, uh, our fact and other thing you know they are supplying fertilizer and that also the cost everything should be affordable to the farmer yes sir so uh, mr subramanian and you are whatever when dealing with uh, your uh, you know job you may be you know you, may, you can come across you know you can give certain inputs to me also during our next talk okay <laughs>